This is Chris Major with Good News in Oakland, reporting from the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, day two of the Oakland A's versus the New York Yankees series. We're here to get an exclusive interview from former Oakland great and Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson to speak about the nonprofit work he's doing in the community and how that impacts young people today. Good news in Oakland! Oh yeah, it feels great. This is Chris Major at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum with the great Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson and an icon in the Oakland community. Reggie, can you talk to us a little bit about how you've seen good news in Oakland when you played help the community? When we won, it was, it was, it was awesome. Um, everybody enjoyed it in town. Um, it was fun uh, around town. And um, it just kind of brought everybody you know, it made everybody upbeat, and uh, everybody had a real enjoyable, good time. What are some of the things that you're doing in the community today to help transition young people in the community so that they can see their future like you? Uh, a few years ago, we were involved in starting the uh, truancy center that they had here. Uh, we helped to pay the, the teachers and staff salaries. Um, we've done that, th those things. Um, right now, we do our best to give scholarships away. Uh, about 20 to 30 a year at a range anywhere from five to 10,000 each um, in different parts of the country. Um, I do a bunch of stuff in Monterey and New York and different places where I've been and got taken money from, if you will, uh, where I got paid from. So you try to get back to those particular communities. Um, there are several charities that I participate in. You know, the Yankees have several and uh, Mike Milken has cap cure uh, with cancer and he goes around the country and really around the world raising money for the, the cure of cancer, uh, prostate cancer. Um, there are several uh, uh, charities in New York. There's a charity there called Robin Hood that helps disenfranchised and um, uh, people that have needs, especially kids that are trying to further their educational opportunities. So uh, Alex Rodriguez has a charity Derek Jeter has a charity, George Posada has a charity, or charities that you do your best to try to participate in to help uh, things uh, get better. And one of the things that I hear you talking about is not only do you have namesake or name brand, but you're actively involved within these charities. And how important is that for a professional, not just to lend his name, but also to lend his time? I remember a conversation I had with Tiger Woods once. And, um, you know, the, the way that he would express himself about his family, his, his mother and his dad, the affection that he showed his father, the respect he showed his father, uh, when you see him with his mother on a golf course. Um, you know, I always had a great deal of respect for how he treated his parents, and I thought that was a wonderful example uh, that he set for young kids. Um, when I see Derek Jeter uh, interacting with his mom and dad, I see him at the games, um, I see them on Father's Day, Mother's Day. I see the inter interaction that he has with his family. And I think that goes much, much further uh, when they express themselves, uh, or you express love and, and respect to your parents. It goes further than a check writing. Um, and so that kind of participation and being a good citizen, being a good person, uh, the way people handle themselves off the field, on the field, uh, acting as a gentleman, acting as a good citizen, acting as a good Christian, God-fearing man, a uh, person that is, is, you know, loyal to family. Um, you know, that's more important to me than I do this for this charity and I do that for that char charity. Uh, acting things out uh, in a Christian uh, style, in a, a godlike way, um, I think that's what's very important. Good news in Oakland! Oh yeah, it feels great.